You know, when I was a little kid, I dreamed of having my own show, and I, I dreamed that I, I, I would go from doing a show on a rock in my papal's front yard, doing a show for raccoons and wayward forest creatures. And I thought, one day I'm going to do a, my own show. Never did I think that that show uh, would turn into the um, cluster that today's show is turning into. <laughs> Jeff, come back. <laughs> <laughs> because poor Ted is now dealing with the fact that um, Josh Broughton may not be able to hear us, but now we, I think He's we good. have him. We're going to test it. We're good. Here we go. Are you ready, audience? I'm ready. Our next guest has range when it comes to being a parent on TV. He's a dad on the Disney Channel, and most recently he played a different type of dad. He was Jeffrey Dahmer's dad. Look. Oh, no, Jeff. Actually, it's fine to be curious. Just be sure to wash your hands, okay? How'd he die? Don't know. Let's take a look. Well, he could have just died because it doesn't look like somebody ate him. Oh, hang on a sec. Look at that. He's got a hole in his skull. Right there. That is Dahmer, the number one show on Netflix. It's available right now. Give it up for native Minnesotan and our good friend. It's Josh Broughton. Hi, Josh. Woo. You see me okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. There you go. I think you're. Hey. Oh, there you are. Um, Josh, can you hear I'm me? Moving. Hey, I'm moving now. Look at that. Yeah. Can you hear me, buddy? Yeah, I got you. Oh, good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm great. How are you? You know, I'm doing really well. And uh, first things first, I I really did, and I'm not just saying this. The audience can tell you, I loved this show. And it's weird to say love about a show about a monster serial killer, but I loved it because of the entire cast. You guys all did such a great job. You included. And I was, I felt proud because we're connected to you and we, we love you. Um, what, what was it like? Because you're dealing with such a heavy subject matter. I wondered, what was it like on the set? Did you guys have to keep it light because it was so heavy? Um, yeah, you're right. It, it, it is. It's just such a, it's such a sad story, you know. Um, but I think. Um, you know, our, our director, Clement Burgo, he just he just wanted it to be authentic. So, um, you know, it was it, there, there was a lot of sadness and a lot of melancholy on set. And uh, uh, Nick, who plays uh, young, young Jeffrey, was uh, just so fantastic. And uh, yeah, I did kind of have to step away every now and then between takes and just, you know, realize that I'm I'm just Josh you know I'm just at work but um but it's yeah it's like like you said it's just so it's it's so sad what type my friend what kind of research did you do there's been I mean I know I did a deep dive into watching you know real testimony I watched um his interview on Oprah I I my mm -hmm. friend of mine what kind of research did you do yeah I, I watched all the stuff I could find probably a lot of the same stuff uh, you were watching. There was a lot with uh, Stone Phillips. Had a lot of uh, interviews back in the day, and um, yeah. So I just I, I I pretty much did a deep dive and, and watched yeah several hours of of, of YouTube because I remember it growing up. But um, you know I was very young, and and I, I think I only got part of the story back then. There's you know I know there's been criticism from victims' families. And then, and then just fans saying, oh, you're, you're, you're uh, being sympathetic or the production was. I got to tell you, Josh, I, I have a completely different take and I, and I wondered what you thought. I don't think the story, the direction, whatever, was showing sympathy toward Jeffrey. I actually thought the show did a really good job of showing the conflict with the father. Because here you are, you know what I mean, Josh? Because here he is. He knows his son is a monster, but at the end of the day, he's still his son. Did you kind of feel that conflict even playing the younger version of him? Yeah, yeah, and 
I think that was just, you know, the idea was to try to tell tell this retell this story in a new way that maybe we didn't hear about, uh, you know, in the when it first came out, or in, and then some of the, you know, the really there's been a lot of really good, uh, you know, films about about the subject, but uh, yeah, we just wanted to. You know, I th I think Ryan, when he does these things, he wants to Ryan Murphy. He wants to help. You know, he wants to make the world a better place in some way, and um, maybe maybe tell a wrinkle to the story that you hadn't heard before. Um, what can we do so that things like this don't you know don't happen to uh, you know people in the oppressed communities and they don't become victims and, and we can you know we can in enforce laws against you know monsters like this so that these things don't continue to happen i also think he did especially in that episode six i've been telling the audience about i think it humanized you know we've seen these individuals as victims on on a list i think the show really humanized a good number of these these poor men and put a human face on what was just a list on on the news for a good chunk of the population yeah 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 and and i don't know about you i mean i've i i I, I think I'm on like episode four or five or something because it's just it's been so hard for me to watch it just just to see how you know a misstep here or there yep and 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 then all of a sudden five more lives have been eradicated because somebody didn't do their job and make sure this guy was you know yeah. was locked up or whatever I feel the so same it's, way it's very sad well, Josh, thank you. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Congratulations on a new season of the Secrets of Sulphur Springs, and we can't yeah. wait to have you back in uh, in person the next time you're home. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Thanks so much, buddy. I, I uh, really appreciate it. And happy birthday to my dad, by the way. Happy birthday, Dad. <laughs> happy thank birthday, you. Dad. I love you. <laughs> thank you, Josh. We'll talk soon. The next season of the uh, Secrets of Sulphur Springs will be uh, debuting soon, and like I said, Dahmer is available right now on Netflix. We'll be right back. Back after this.